On Saturday, July 25, 2020, Eric William Warmer became another tragic victim to that COVID outbreak in America's prison wall. Family, friends, and those who knew Eric are saddened by his past. Eric, as friends call him E, was born and raised in San Francisco. He grew up in the Escort District of San Francisco and attended Balboa High School. Eric loved riding dirt bike and motocross. He was also a Golden Glove boxer. Eric loved dogs his whole life. His crate was dry cleaning, where he worked for many years. Friend who knew E from behind the walls of San Quentin says that he was a very kind, caring, and generous person. He was a spiritual person who often read his devotions every morning which could be seen displayed in his practice day-to-day -day life. He would go out his way to help others and would not turn anyone down who needs help. He was part of the Native Hawaiian Spiritual Group Dance and the AAPI Ethic Study Group San Quentin Group. Spending years behind walls, he understood the hardship he had caused on his family and relationships. Despite the harsh condition of incarceration, he would continue to write letters of hope and encouragement to his stepdaughter, providing her with insight and pearls of wisdom on life. To his brother Hank, who he was very close with, he would dream of one day traveling the world with him to see the great nature, wonders, and connect with people. Er will always be remembered by friends and family as a kind and warm-hearted person. He was loved by so many and especially those who Eric William Warner is survived by his stepdaughter, Shanti, brother, niece, Chloe, nephew, William, and aunt, Norma, Juliet, and Anne Concha. The San Quentin Outbreak. COVID-19 has spread widely behind the walls of San Quentin. San Quentin, like many prisons in California, is ill-equipped to handle a pandemic, especially due to the prison unsanitary condition, lack of medical resource, and overcrowding. Before May 31st, there was no positive COVID-19 case in San Quentin. On May 31st, 121 people were transferred to San Quentin from CMI, a facility in Chino, California, where a deadly COVID-19 outbreak occurred. On the same day of that transfer, CDCR had confirmed the first positive case of COVID-19 in San Quentin. In the following week, hundreds of cases sprang up. According to the California Department of Correction and Rehabilitation, as of July 20th, among those incarcerated at San Quentin, there have been 289 COVID-confirmed cases, and 13 people have already died of COVID-19. 